So there's nothing new going on, huh? Nothing different? Nacho Varga is squeezed. But there's a new Salamanca in town that unfortunately makes Nacho more valuable to Gus. We will see Lalo change the lives and alliances within this season, and everyone will have to contend with him whether they like it or not. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down the second behind the scenes trailer for Better Call Saul Season 5, along with discussing the entire Lalo vs. Nacho vs. Gus situation going on currently in the show. With that being said, warning of spoilers for up to the Season 4 finale for Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, and the Breaking Bad movie El Camino. Now, I love discussing and breaking down Better Call Saul here on the channel, and I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given me recently. But for those of you who may not know, I actually just did a highly edited video discussing the new 2020 Death Note one-shot sequel. I'm very passionate about Death Note, and when I have the urge or impulse to create content on something new that I'm interested in, I'm going to jump on it. That being said, YouTube didn't promote the video at all, as it seems to favor my Better Call Saul videos and nothing else, so I'd love it if you guys could go check out my Death Note breakdown and show it some support if you've ever been a fan of it. Now, rare self plug over, let's jump into the video. So this video is a mix of a trailer breakdown along with a general topic discussion. I'll be breaking down the newer second behind the scenes trailer as I said, since like half of the trailer is focused on Lalo's presence in the season. The first half of the trailer mainly focuses on Kim and Jimmy, which I discussed in my previous video, did Chuck create Saul Goodman? Check it out after if you haven't yet already. Now, first off, some trailers have been showing Lalo meeting with Gus and I think Juan Bolsa as well at what I assume is the Los Pollos Hermanos warehouse as we can see Lalo getting out of his car in front of a few trucks parked on the side of the building. Lalo is seen questioning Gus about a construction project, so he's on Gus's tail. I'm not quite sure if the Salamancas were aware exactly how Gus had his super lab and operation going in Breaking Bad, so apologies, but in this trailer they're definitely making it seem like Gus wants to keep the entire lab a secret from them, as I imagine his intentions are to eventually take over completely. As the trailer explains, Lalo is constantly on everyone's tail, trying to weave his way into the situation and figure out what everyone is up to. He's kind of on their track, you know, he's got their scent. What construction project? He seems to be suspicious of everyone, while still having that happy-go-lucky, friendly charisma, which is just even more intimidating because you know he's a smart guy, so it's like he's using it to get you to slip up somehow. He's suspicious of Gus, he's suspicious of Nacho, he'll probably be suspicious of Jimmy too once he finally meets him, which I do think will happen by the end of the season with all the clips showing Nacho bringing Jimmy to various meeting locations, along with Nacho warning Jimmy that once he's in with the criminals, he's in for good. When you're in, you're in. Nacho knows this all too well because that's the situation he's currently trying to get out of, so he's warning Jimmy while he still might have a chance. As we know from Season 4, Nacho was originally taking over for the Salamancas, but Lalo stepped in after what happened to Hector, which is the opposite of what Nacho was hoping for. Nacho's intentions were to kill Hector and allow himself an opportunity to save his father and get out of the drug business. But not only did Hector survive because of Gus, they called in a new Salamanca who will give both Nacho and Gus an incredibly hard time throughout Season 5. Since Gus knows that it was Nacho's fault as far as Hector's accident, goes, he killed Nacho's partner back in Season 4, and now has complete control of Nacho as a double agent of sorts, almost getting killed in the process in order to cover up his partner's murder. Gus is lining up everything that he needs in order to take over and become the kingpin that we know and kind of love from Breaking Bad, but he still has Lalo in the way before he can get there. I know what you've done. The Salamancas. They do not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nacho isn't a fan of Lalo either, as he's taken over the Salamanca business, but not just that, he's just an obvious threat to Nacho and his father if Lalo ever finds out what Nacho was up to. So, wanting Lalo out of the picture is something that they have in common. I feel like this meeting we can see in multiple trailers between Nacho, Gus, Mike, and Victor will be Gus telling Nacho what he wants him to do next. I'm not sure if Gus is aware that Mike and Nacho are already familiar with each other. We can see Gus getting frustrated 
separated and then turning and staring at Mike, so maybe that's him realizing the two know each other, but if not, it'll be interesting to see Mike and Nacho converse about it privately afterwards if they get the chance. Also in the trailer, we can see Hector with his bell strapped to his wheelchair with Lalo pushing him around, and I do find it funny that Lalo just so happens to be not only the one who gives Hector the bell, but he is also probably the influence of always having it on Hector's wheelchair as a form of communication as well. We've had a show which has had different worlds. There's Jimmy's world and there's been Mike's world. In this season, all the storylines start to overlap. I wonder just how much Lalo will influence by the time his time on the show is all said and done. There's a scene of Nacho jumping down from a high area or getting pushed over or something, and then we also keep getting a bunch of clips of the same situation when Nacho goes into that building with Lalo and you can see Lalo looking at the little baggie of drugs, and this is the same time that I think Lalo like goes to walk into the building and there's some white dude kind of flashing his gun at him, warning him to stop, but Lalo just walks in anyway and then later you can see what appears to be Lalo overlooking a drug bust, so I feel like Lalo and Nacho are definitely involved somehow, possibly even the cause of it. I'm not too sure if maybe they're getting ripped off by these guys, or they feel like these guys are cutting the drugs too much, or whatever they feel like these guys are doing wrong, that they just want them out of the picture, even if they're just competition. I'm not too sure, but at the end of the trailer, we can see Nacho getting awoken to flashlights in his face, and then he tries to go for his gun, but the person barging in puts their hand on it before Nacho can grab it. That being said, there's also a clip of cops busting into a room with flashlights while we see someone sneaking out the window. Who is the person sneaking out the window? Is it Nacho? And if so, is this the same scene as the end of the trailer with Nacho being awoken to flashlights in his face along with the struggle over his gun? So what's going on here? Is Nacho being set up? Like, did Nacho purposely go there so that when Lalo caused all of this that it wouldn't look like it was them or is Nacho actually being set up here? But it doesn't make sense if Nacho is getting caught and the person is catching the gun, then how is he slipping out the window? Did he somehow maybe tackle that person and get out of that situation but then a second wave of people come in? Is it not even Nacho and I'm overthinking this and Lalo didn't even cause it? I'm not too sure, let me know what you guys think. But also in the trailer that clip is being shown while Bob Odenkirk talks about there being many life or death situations this season. Season. So is this truly the case for Nacho in this scene or just this season in general? Because yeah, his entire life situation right now is a life or death. So life or death situations in season five. Life or death. It really just starts going. I can't wait for fans to see this season. In the trailer, we get teased how Jimmy's world and Mike's world will collide as all the stories between everyone starts to intertwine. That's been the most fun part of the show for me back in the earlier seasons especially, so I'm looking forward to it as Jimmy, Kim, and Howard possibly get more involved with Mike, Nacho, Gus, and the Salamancas. We still need to see everything unfold involving Lalo and Nacho, coming full circle to the it wasn't me, it wasn't Ignacio. It's crazy how a single line of dialogue that created a fan theory back in Breaking Bad has actually sparked an entire plotline and multiple characters in the prequel show, introducing Nacho as Ignacio, which is confirmed, and Nacho even says so himself when he first meets Gus and Bolsa, and then Lalo Salamanca as Don Lalo. A ti te conozco. Pero a ti no. Es el compadre de Tuco. Es buena onda. El compadre de Tuco. Ignacio. No, it wasn't me, it was Ignacio, he's the one! Ahí, siempre, soy amigo! Siempre, siempre, Shut soy up, amigo right? del cartel! Lalo didn't send you to Lalo! Secreta, de la familia. The Salamanca family. Name! Yo soy Eduardo, but you can call me Lalo. It seems as though Ignacio does something involving Saul that screws over Lalo, and until current day, Saul is still paranoid that Lalo is going to find out his involvement and come after him. So, what did Saul secretly help out Ignacio with? If he's still worried about getting caught for it, it must be something that was kept a secret. And if he's trying to convince who he thinks is Lalo's men that it was Ignacio and not him, that means that Ignacio was never caught and punished for it 
yet, whatever they did, they got away with, and Ignacio probably went into hiding or something. Is Saul trying to keep Nacho safe because he was the one who tampered with Hector's pills, causing him to be in a wheelchair? Could Lalo catch on to what Nacho did to Hector? Could Gus rat him out for it? Or does Nacho do something new in Season 5 that causes a more immediate threat to him and his father? Nacho's been trying to escape the gangster life. We saw him with a fake ID in his safe, which a viewer recently commented on reminding me, so thanks, you know who you are, I responded to the comment, but I digress. Nacho was trying to kill Hector in order to escape the Salamancas, but all it did was put him front and center, and as the trailer explains, Nacho Varga is squeezed. Because Lalo gets called in, along with Nacho becoming a double agent of sorts for Gus, playing both sides right in the middle of the pre-existing Gus vs. Salamanca feud. Lalo is a new challenge standing in Gus's way, and I assume that he'll take care of him one way or another by the end of the season or the end of the show. The thing is, in Breaking Bad, Gus tells Hector that he's the last Salamanca, and that his entire family is dead. So, if Lalo is a Salamanca, that means that he must die at some point, right? Is it possible for Saul to get involved with Lalo and Nacho? Saul helps Nacho go into hiding, and then Gus somehow kills off Lalo without Saul ever knowing about it? This could explain why Saul still seems scared about Lalo coming after him up until the current day in Breaking Bad, while Gus explains how all the other Salamancas are actually dead. It's entirely possible that Lalo will die secretly in Season 5 or 6 without the other characters, such as Saul, who knew him before beforehand of being aware. The leading theory is that since Nacho will get involved between the Salamancas and Gus, that he'll require Saul to give him the contact of Ed the Disappear so that Nacho and his father can escape the cartel. The thing is though, I don't believe Jimmy has ever met Ed the Disappear at this point in Better Call Saul, so will we see how Jimmy first meets Ed the Vacuum Man in order to help out Nacho with his Lalo situation? Maybe Caldera will be the first person to actually give him the contact, I'm not sure. And although Though Robert Forster sadly passed away on the day that El Camino was released to the public, apparently he has scenes already filmed for season 5, so his character Ed the Disappearer will appear one more time on screen during season 5. Could this be related to Nacho? With the most popular theory for Nacho's conclusion being that Jimmy will discover Ed and Nacho will be the first client that he gives him, Ed's confirmation for season 5 makes this seem more likely and I hope to see it. The ending may be predictable, but that's okay. I hope for this ending, it's the most realistic, it makes sense, it'll tie everything together nicely, and the foreshadowing was there for fans like us who really dug deep and broke things down in depth. If we've figured it out before it happens, then cool, that's fine with me. They've done an amazing job at weaving this story through the Breaking Bad universe, and it seems like they're going to stay true to their vision till the end. Now what I'm getting at here is just because we figured this out online and discussed it publicly, that shouldn't mean that they should change it or subvert our expectations just for the sake of surprising us like the ending of Game of Thrones, but that's another conversation for another time. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as I'm always thankful for you guys helping me appease the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and hit that bell notification for more content on Better Call Saul in the near future. Got a lot of videos planned for the next like week and a half or so until Better Call Saul Season 5 comes out, and then we're really going to be busy on the channel, but I thank you guys all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!